Uh, Kinky, I want to talk more about this uh, concert, this Live Down Under, man. Um, I, you know, I, I'm so what I'm curious about is because uh, I read this other story, kind of what you said, but I guess there was a little more to it. Like Billy Joe was was going to have he had had a heart attack and they were going to do surgery. And you and Willie, you know, told him, hey, you need some R&R. &R. You know, you, you need to come down here. He, he definitely did. I mean, he. He was half traumatized when we got, you know, and he was all worried about, and that's not like Billy Joe anyway. He just, sure. But when we saw the uh, buckboard start rolling in and the you know, old, old model cars and things like that, we knew that his fans were there. And, uh, so and he it was, was happy. We also had uh, Jesse Guitar Davis. Is that right? Hey, Dylan, yeah. 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 And um, and uh, Washington uh, Rasso and and uh, Little Juford, a uh, Little Juford. Um, yeah, I saw a picture you put up today on your uh, Instagram, actually, with him. He, he's a Jew and he drives a Ford, basically. <laughs> but uh, but this this was a uh, this is a very interesting tour and. Uh, and Billy Joe was really happy that, that he, he went. Yeah. Because I was kind of playing with shrimp in this thing. That I had a lot on the line to bring him out there. I mean, it does. it's nothing that the doctors wanted at all. I mean, they were vehement about don't go out there to Australia where Kinky is the last thing you need to do. And, um, well, Billy Joe is the the focus of the record that I've just completed, um, The Poet of Motel 6. And uh, if we can find a way to play it, let's do. But if it requires too many things to move around, okay. But this would be then the first performance of this. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, two. let's make so that happen. Of the song. Wow. That would be amazing. So that, that's up to you, Patrick. You don't have, you don't have to do it. We can do it. What? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, well, Floyd is ready here, so. Mm -hmm. You need to get your. I don't know if I'm ready. Let's see. Yeah, I'll probably move this around a little bit. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. Well, I look at it. You. It kills another three minutes of bullshit. But, you know. <laughs> this is the opposite of bullshit, actually. I'm afraid, because I'm obviously. I forgot how much I laugh uh, when we talk, Kinky. You really, uh, you have such a great sense of humor, man. I got to tell you, that's such a phenomenal thing. Well, that that thing we did with um, the the story of uh, Willie Nelson calling me in the middle of the night. Did we do that? Did we? Because that was now a couple of years ago. Oh man, I, I'll be well, honest. I, I don't remember. Story, I can bring it in in at least an hour and a half. No, I can do it very quickly. <laughs> uh, the um, there was one night that I was here alone at the ranch uh, watching Matlock. Great show. And uh, three, three o'clock, it is a great show. A very great show. And it was three o'clock in the morning and I'm watching. So the phone rings and the voice says, uh, a voice I can't quite hear, partly because I need hearing aids and partly because he speaks in a soft tone. And uh, so I said, who is this? And he said, it's red. And I said, who? Who's calling? And he said, it's Willie Nelson. He said, you remember me on the road again. <laughs> and anyway, so um, Willie said, uh, what are you doing, Kink? And I said, well, I'm watching Matlock. And he said, that's a sure sign of depression. <laughs> and um, he said, "Take, turn Matlock off, Kink. Turn Matlock off. And start writing, man. Start writing. So this is, I guess, the first guy that encouraged me to write again in many years. Wow. Many years. And it inspired me, sort of. And I wrote about 15 or 20 songs in a short period of time. And I called Willie and said, I'm, Willie, I've been writing now like a fiend, and like Oscar Wilde with his hair on fire in Britain. And I've got about 12 or 15 songs. And uh, Willie says, well, send them to me. Send them on. And I said, Willie, 
I've been hearing all these rumors that uh, that you're not well, that you're, you know, um, is everything uh, going okay? And uh, Willie says, uh, well, you know, it's a little up and a little down, the usual. By the way, Kinky, what channel is Matt Lock on? <laughs> So uh, that was that story. Yeah, <laughs> that one is word for word true. That's just what he said. What channel is my lock? That's a great one. Uh, so, he was ready to get down on Matlock. 